This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 3. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. This is the book of Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rust of soul is his wickedness. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakotus Kutam, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi and Shai. And um, Lord willing, this is edifying. I came across an article yesterday, meant to do the video yesterday, uh, body kind of beat up, you know, how Babylon is. Not justification, just basically wasn't able to get to it yesterday. So trying to make up for the lesson yesterday. Um, so um, basically doing that this morning, um, early in the a.m., and, um, you know, I was debating on doing this one or another one. This is the one I decided to go with. So this is a popular mechanics um, article. And it says, Bill Gates wants us to eat 100%. 100% now. So this ain't that filler meat. This ain't, um, you know, when you buy hamburger meat, it's usually um, like 70% ground beef with 30% um, of a filler meat or whatever. <laughs> this is 100% synthetic beef. He has a point. And this is how simple and stupid and sottish and dumb. You know, yeah, Bill Gates is not a um, health expert. You know, he's supposed to be a computer software um, genius or whatever, which they say that that's not even completely accurate because they say he stole a lot of his ideas to come up with Microsoft and whatnot, which is probably true because these devils steal everything you know that's in their nature it tells you in the book of john about the um thief coming to kill steal and destroy roughly paraphrased so you know only thing that this this edomite is actually capable of is some defiled um coming and creating is like something defiled or um some wickedness you know as far as you know um like or destructive you know like with the um the icbm you know Oppenheimer with the um the ICBM or the the nuclear bomb, you know. Like I said, they create depth. I mean, you know, Winchester with the, the with the with the gun, you know, um, you know, because you know they're a son of perdition. But not to digress, it says the billionaire says fake burgers could solve one of the world's biggest problems. It's by Carolyn Delbert, it's dated February nineteenth, twenty twenty one. Said Bill Gates suggested synthetic beef like Beyond Meat is a key part of climate action. Lab-grown meat still has extremely high cost, but taste-wise, it has passed mustard. Gates pushes meat alternatives because of meat high cost and global emissions. And the thing is, you know, with that um, Burger King and the Possible Burger, like um, Bill Gates backed a lot of that. However, he's telling you to eat the synthetically lab-grown meat. If you've ever watched a YouTube video, I did a video on the past on it, and you know, like they do the 3D printing of the meat, you know. And it's fascinating and disgusting all at the same time. But yet and still, throughout this pandemic, Bill Gates, I had an article, I, don't, I might not even pull it up because I may not have the time, but recently through this pandemic, this man is the biggest um, farm owner or land owner in the U.S. So he's pushing on the people to go and buy um, or eat this synthetic meat, yet and still, he bought all this farmland. So what do you think is going to be produced on this farm uh, farmland you know he probably make money based on that you know i was watching something with jay prince jay prince um has a lot of farmland he sells a lot of um angus beef <laughs> and you know it made me think of that movie the snow pierce or snow piercer um a few brothers oh uh, brothers in the truth are aware of it and when you pay attention to that movie People that was in the front of the train was eating all the actual real food. They were enjoying. They was living life as if like they wasn't on the train. While in the back, the people that was just in the back were literally like eating the dregs. Like if you ever seen the movie Platform, they were getting the the the, the worst of the worst. Shit, they might have even been taking some of them and cutting them up and serving them to be. Because you gotta remember, the elites was living in the front, while the um, 
you know, the have-nots and just those that were call themselves blessed to be on there were, uh, were living in the back. It says, um, Bill Gates has a big idea to fight climate change. The Microsoft co-founder and chair of the investment fund Breakthrough Energy Ventures recently suggested that all rich countries should move to all rich countries should move to 100% synthetic beef in an interview with MIT Technology Review. But the thing is this: these rich countries, you will have the citizens eating the synthetic beef. But do you really think the elites of these countries are gonna be eating synthetic beef? You got uh, like that that one mayor had to step down because he was saying basically how uh, the people in Texas. Um, literally need to just suck it up. They looking for handouts and shit like that. But yet, still, that's what th this is the the mindset of most of these people that you put in power. These politicians, <laughs> you know, so called leaders. <laughs> Why is Gates a direct and indirect investor in brands like Beyond Meats and Impossible Foods? You know, he's pushing uh, behind a lot of these um, these companies that's um, dealing with the synthetic meats again. But yet, still, he just purchased all this farmland. You, you got to sit back and meditate and wonder why that is. It says, particularly synthetic beef as its climate solution. As the Western Journal points out, the Food and Agriculture Organization predicted the global shortage of protein-rich foods following the CV-19 pandemic wake of the CV pandemic. Approximately 1 billion people in the world suffer from protein deficiency, according to Cornell Alliance for Science. And whether... Wealthier nations, these synthetic beef is a good place to start to solve that protein problem and slow the effects of climate change, too. Here's Gates via the technology review. You can get used to the taste difference, and the claim is they are going to make it taste even better over time. <laughs> but this motherfucker ain't eating this shit. Did I remember they showed the thing where he literally was supposed to be eating one of the impossible burgers? But you don't know. That's just like with these vaccines. You don't know if they're actually taking this shit. You gotta remember this man is the devil. You know, he's a deceiver. You know, and then the thing is, you know, it just made me think of when I when I read this about um, Ezekiel chapter four, because it's a prophecy in there that told us, you know, that we were going to expect these things and see these things. And then way before then, you had to remember um, you had uh, the GMOs. You got genetic, genetically modified food. You got, you know, um, coal resistant corn and um, seedless grapes and seedless watermelons. But, you know, that's all at a price. I was looking at some videos on YouTube that brothers actually went into GMOs. Like the one brother did, um, I think he, um, his channel is GMS Contrition. Contrition is key. And he was saying how um, he showed a picture of a burger from McDonald's and a burger from um another fast food spot and he was showing you like within like 90 days the burger from mcdonald's still kind of looked the same like a regular burger you know what i mean and he was like you know when you grow food food's supposed to decay that's how you know the difference between real food this food is not real you know what i mean you eating basically chemicals or plastic you know i work at a spot that we deal with plastic you know plastic can't be broken down so when you get that in your body you know you got plastic rice or they were showing um a a, 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 a a Jake. He he, he may have been Jake. He looked like a Hamite. He kind of sounded like a Hamite, but his spirit was kind of different. So he 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 had bought some you know, fish from a fish market, and he brought it back, and he was showing people. He was like, uh, when he went into it, it wasn't very much meat on the fish, and then when he looked at the eyes, the eyes were plastic eyes. So you know, just showing you the defiled state of this place, but. You know, um, it, the scripture tells you that it was going to be like this. It says, um, back in the bill, guys, he says, you can get to, used to the taste difference. And the claim is they're going to make it taste even better uh, over time. Eventually, that green premium is modest enough that you can sort of change the behavior of people or use regulation to totally shift the demand. But the politics are challenging. There are all these bills that say it's got to be called basically lab garbage to be sold. They don't want us to use the beef label. So basically, he's trying to get around the fact that, you know, if they can get it out there and just say, oh, yeah, this is consumable, they, that's what they want to do is the legislation. You know what I mean? When they get past legislation all the time, like when you go into the FDA, the FDA is allowed to serve, you're allowed to serve certain foods with a certain amount of feces in it. Like, because you, like a warehouse that, May have processed food, which is garbage. By the way, that's the foul food. Uh, you know, if a, a rat gets in there, it's like a certain 
amount that that's allowed to, to be inside the food for consumption. So 10 years from now, like I said, just imagine the state of this place. Like I said, like, and it, and that's one of the big things this demon devil fucking Bill Gates is behind. Along with it, you know, the people behind him. Because at the end of the day, the people that truly rule the world, they're not on in the, in the news and whatnot. You know, I'm going I'm to show you a uh, 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 I'm gonna give you an example of that. You know, um, you had um, one of that was the, one of the Rothschilds, and um, was that David Rothschild, and um, the young guy, the youngest one. And you know how Trump is about his ego, and you can't say shit about Trump or Trump get you back. He petty like that. And, uh, David Rothschild was telling him to shut the fuck up. You know, through his Twitter, and Trump never responded. That was the one person Trump never responded to. So that lets you know the power that these people have. But uh, it's more in the article. Like I said, as you can see, it's kind of lengthy. So if you want to check, <laughs> if you want to check it out, um, it's on Popular Mechanics. Bill Gates wants us to eat 100% synthetic beef. He has a point, and to show you how just like says Scottish, how Scottish people are. They're agreeing with this, though. Um, it says, let me get this. Uh, I'm going to get this. This is Exodus. Uh, Exodus chapter 23, verse 10. Because at the end of the day, to show you how demonic Esau is, you know, the the the, 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 the earth is alive. So, therefore, that's why you had land Sabbaths. You have Sabbaths that you must rest but also the land must rest. You know, when Gad was taking care of the land, Gad would literally, like, farm out on certain parts of the land. And then after so much time, after six years, they would let that land rest and move to another part. Well, Esau doesn't um, farm like that. Esau is so greedy. That's how destructive he is. He'll, he'll try and farm out the whole land. That's why the earth is in the state of the disease now. This is Exodus 23, verse 10. And six years thou shalt sow thy land and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. Verse 11. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat. And what they leave, the beasts of the field shall eat. And in like manner thou shalt deal with the vineyard and the olive yard. And then it goes into, you know, um, you as a person, as an Israelite, um, Working six days and then resting. Six days thou shalt do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest. That thine ox and thine ass may rest, and the son of thy handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. So at the end, they like to say, you got to rest because you're alive, just like the land got to rest because it's a lion. But that devil, this devil, this red Hebrew Edomite, this Esau Edom, he he doesn't believe in that because his, his greed it's overwhelming. It, um, it talks about that in the scriptures. I forget where it's at, but it, um, you know, um, it talks about how how greedy he is. Though that's just part of how the Most High set him up to, um, you know. That's why, like I said, when I brought out the Ecclesiasticus of the Book of Sirach, uh never trust thine enemy like iron rust. That's just in his nature. Iron is gonna rust. That's why you gotta constantly clean it. You know. That's why you got to constantly take care of it. And the way that the metal is, it'll rust, but then you can you can bring it back to a pristine state, but then it'll rust back again. Cause that's the nature of iron. Uh, bear with me for a second. And um, I'm going to end the lesson on this um, scripture because th this is the point of the video, and this is the prophecy that was foretold in the book of Ezekiel. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4, verse 9. Take thou also... Unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fitches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof. Verse 10. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight. Twenty shekels a day from time to time shalt thou eat it. Verse 11. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. The sixth part of an hen. From time to time shalt thou drink. Verse 12. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of a man in their sight. Verse 13. And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus saith the Salakia. And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. Verse 14. Then said I, so this is Ezekiel, then said I, I. 
Then said I, uh, Lord, Yahweh, power, behold, my soul have not been polluted for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself or is torn in pieces. Neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Verse 15, then he said unto me, lo, I have given thee cloud, cows done for man's done and thou shalt prepare thy bread with, wherewith. Verse 16, moreover he said unto me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure measure and with astonishment. So the point is, in verse 13, he said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether, whether I will drive them. So everywhere Israel is, you got these GMOs. And, and, and that's the prophecy. And, and pay attention to like you, you know, it's it said you will eat it when man's done, but then you know, Ezekiel protested it. So the Lord allowed him to eat it with cows dug, because when you take the time to think about it, how defiled it would have been with man's done, but let alone with cows. <laughs> I mean, it's still in a state of defile. It just, I mean, you know, at the end. It, End of the day, it, it's not as defiled with the with the with the cows, though. But it's still uh, defiled. You know what I mean? You're eating shit. You know what I mean? This food is garbage. Like I said, this is chemicals. You know what I mean? And like you use shit like fertilizer to like uh, like you know they'll use fertilizer to to regrow uh, or grow uh, plants and vegetables and whatnot. But yet still though, you know, to consume that, that's you know that's off. You know what I mean? And and that's the state we're in to this day. You know what I mean? Like I said, you don't like I said you don't even like the one brother did the video about the GMOs. They were said they were showing how they had certain. Uh, I think I think I, I wasn't sure if it was rats or, or mice or something. They was using something to eat a lot of these GMOs and lab grow food and like I think the I think it was mice. They were getting tumors, growing tumors out of nowhere, and yet still this is the shit that we're consuming today. You know, the one brother was going into how, uh, you know, and that's the thing because the spirit is I don't eat McDonald's. It's a, it was a brother in our camp that basically got put out. He on the other side now, but like literally, uh, he 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 still eating a lot of uh, the fast food. And, 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 the, and the elder from uh, Alabama, he he be so much in the spirit. He said something I never took the time to think about. It. He was like, you know, this how is one way to solidify that you know this is Esau Kato. He was like, it's everything is fast food at the ready. You know, they got the microwave and all these fast food restaurants. Look at the pandemic. Out of all the shit that you would have thought shut down, you would have just knew it would have been the fast food joints. The fast food joints still up and thriving, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, some of them shut down, of course, but for the most part, a lot of that shit is still open. And you're like, wow, you know what I mean? It is defiled, though, you know what I mean? Like, but McDonald's is the worst. Come on, I I, I had stopped eating that shit prior. Like, I might eat a french fry here or got some coffee, but as far as really eating that, I don't eat that shit, but... I was I had slowed down and pretty much had stopped eating it way before the, the documentary supersized me. But when I saw that shit, that solidified it. Like, what the fuck? The dude almost died eating that shit. So just imagine how bad it is now. Then they was like, the, how they hook everybody is because they put sugar on pretty much everything. I think even on the salad. You know, that dude made a bit and literally almost died. His, 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 his organs start shutting down and shit. If you never checked that documentary out, I suggest you go watch it. <laughs> it's called Super Size Me. So, like I said, that was a prophecy, and you and you actually live in the prophecy now, because like I said, you got these GMO, you got all these fast food uh, restaurants, and then you got this fucking devil, Bill Gates, want to come out with the synthetic meat. <laughs> on a bad scale, though. That's how you know he's a devil, too, because like I said, like, you know, like I work at a job. Like, I remember when I first started working, you were taught if you want to be the manager, you got to be actually have the work ethic to, you know, you know, like 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 the gangster, the the boss that runs the gag. Usually, the boss that runs the gag is the biggest gangster. You know what I mean? He the biggest thug, the biggest killer. He he, cause that's how the gag got started. Cause he or you know what I mean he put it all to work. So that's why he the boss. Nowadays it ain't like that. You know what I mean? Like the manager would be a manager in title, not in, in, in deed or work. You know what I mean? Like, this shit just so funny.
But uh, not to digress. So, like I said, that's the lesson. Lord willing, it was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Oh, so like I say, at the end of the day, best believe uh, things gonna get worse. You know what I mean? Like I say, <laughs> you know that's why it's best to actually like go to these meat markets and shit. Like. As opposed to going to these grocery stores or these fast food, you know what I mean? You know, you know, you got I, I watch people literally shop out of out of out of, out of uh, Dollar Tree and buy the meat there. Now there's certain things I buy out of Dollar Tree, maybe cereal, some ramen noodles, because don't get me wrong, those aren't that healthy for you, but they better than some shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh some of the candies and chocolates and like toothpaste, uh dishwasher liquid. You know, you could buy some little cheap shit for a dollar. But I would never buy the meat there. Like, they sell actual turkey meat. And, like, you don't know what that shit is. And best believe, like I said, if this man pushing at the end with all the shit going on, he pushing synthetic meat as well. That's going to be for you serfs. That synthetic meat. You know what I mean? Like, when you go back into uh, the fight ups and or whatnot, when you had the king and everybody had to pay the king. And, you know, you had serfs. The serfs that owned no land, they basically just paid tribute to the king. You know, they might have had a, a, a blacksmith shop, but they was paying, you know, the king to actually use that land. That's why, like I said, if you ever watch, like, the Game of Thrones where uh, Cersei was ruling through Joffrey and whatnot, and she was trying to show Joffrey to be kind to the people, but Joffrey was such a fucking little demon monster, you know what I mean, and... Basically, the the, the 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 people, the citizens were starving, and you know, because they was waiting for the you know the king to you know the king to provide the food, and basically the the the, the soldiers and the knights and all those and everybody that was in the palace, they was eating, but all the people that lived in like surrounded the king the kingdom, they wasn't eating, they was starving, and they had to go out one day for something. And literally, the people rose up and start trying to stall Joffrey and hit him with shit and all that. So what do you think about to happen to this place? Like I said, you already got the, the test run going right now with Texas. If you can't see that they sure Texas using Texas as an example for something, then you really truly are blinded. <laughs> so with that, I will end the lesson. Lord willing, it was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, glory to call. Law, you like your heart. by shit, y'all shine. By shit, rock with us with the Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity and risking their lives and the free will do so. Shalom to the Akwa, to the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, it was edified lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations. Subscribe to this truth. To you, I say shalom. Till next time, Lord willing, shalom, shalom, and bawath la babal, shalom.